Hi. In this video, we'll be talking about how you can use the Dimension Loader object in a Stara Data Warehouse Builder. The Dimension Loader object allows you to write data to a dimension table. You can connect to a deployed dimensional model and then choose a dimension table that you want to write your data to. Here, we have a sample dimensional model that we've already deployed to the server. This model contains four dimension entities, one fact entity, and a date dimension entity. Let's load data into the customer dimension using the dimension loader object. First, drag the object from the data warehouse section of the toolbox and drop it onto the data flow designer. The object is currently empty because we haven't configured it yet. To open the configuration window, right click on the object and select properties from the context menu. On the database connection screen, you can choose a data provider from the options available in the data provider drop-down menu. Since the dimension entities are present in the deployed dimensional model, we'll select Estera data model from the list of data providers. Here, provide your Estera data warehouse builder credentials and a server connection. The default username is admin and the default password is admin123 with a capital A. Once done, you can select a deployed model from the database drop-down menu. In this case, we'll select the deployment title DWSA, which represents the dimensional model that we saw earlier. Click Next to move to the Pick Table screen. Here, you can pick a table from the dimension entities present in the deployed model you've chosen. In this case, there are four dimension entities to choose from. Since we want to load the customer table, we'll choose that entity from this list. Once you're done, click Next. On the Layout Builder screen, you can view the layout of the entity, including the characteristics and roles of each field. However, you cannot modify the layout of the entity from this screen. Now, click OK to close the configuration window. You can now see all of the fields in the object layout and can map the incoming source data to each relevant field. Here, we'll use the database table source object. Once you've made the required mappings, you can run the data flow to populate the dimension table. So this is how you can use the dimension loader object in a Stara data warehouse builder. For more information on the object, please visit our website. Thank you for watching this video.